Moly is going to be one of the best players in the conference. He's a, when playing at his peak and staying healthy, he is a, a conference defensive MVP type candidate. Doug Sheese has played a lot of ball for us. Those two are going to be the heart and soul of the interior defensive line. As Zeke right now is a third tackle. He's played some football, uh, really started to come into himself last year, and now, uh, again, the, the sky's the limit for this young man. He's big, he's strong, he's talented, he's smart. Uh, we signed two local boys, uh, Calvin Kinke out of Bingham High. He's a big, strong dude. He, he, he's going to be physically a uh, handful for guys to work with. And Matt Heron out of Olympus uh, is another guy very active, very good in his pass rush. You've seen Okiki play a little bit in the past. He's got to step up and take the next step on uh, in his role. Braden Wilson's a, another young man that has been in the program, recruited him out of Farmington High School. He's redshirted, now he's developed, and now he's kind of kind of excited for his time to shine. Weber State defensive tackle, um, it's the heart and soul of our defense. He's a, he's a fundamentally sound, tough, uh, enjoyable young man. A guy that has a smile on his face, that loves to put a guy on his back, that loves to be physical. As far as the defensive end position goes, we want energetic pass rushers, guys that are excited to make plays. They kind of um, mimic off the play of those D tackles and work together with a, a physicality, a nastiness, uh, but also a joy for the game. We get four of those dudes on the field at the same time, it's, uh, we're wreaking havoc.